I do think there are some things that have to be in place to be an effective coach. I think, number one, you have to like yourself. If you don't like yourself, you're not going to like others. Right? We talk to others how we talk to ourselves. Number two, you have to be able to really like seeing people succeed. That's really what the job of a coach is, is helping others be successful. If you don't like to see others succeed, you are sure not going to be effective as a coach. What I've learned is that A's hire A's and B's hire C's. A's hire A's and B's hire C's. Not A personality types, but A's being top achieving, fully functioning, positive, caring, helping people. Want to be around other people like that, don't you? You would say yes here because you're supposed to be A's, yes. <laughs> but B's, not quite achieving people, want to be around people that aren't quite, quite achieving. And a, and a B will always do what it takes to make sure a C never becomes a B or an A. So you have to be someone who likes the other people achieve. You have to understand that coaching is a process. You won't see success right away, and everyone won't achieve the same things. In track and field, someone can run a race and have the best race of their career and not win, come in dead last. You can still put your arm around them and congratulate them because they did the best they could. That's what I like about marathon running. Uh, marathon running, the last place person gets the exact same medal as the first place person because they did the best with what they could. And that's what coaches need to understand. Coaching isn't so much what you do, but how you think. And we need to change the way we think about how to lead people.